What's up, guys? It is Thursday, January 30th at a little bit after 5 o'clock p.m. New York time. Now, I am long GBPJPY, as you can see on the screen in front of you. My stop loss is locked in profit, and this trade recap video is actually posted in the live trading playlist on the channel already. So if you want to see the entire trade recap video for this trade, go check that out. But today's video is going to talk specifically about what's going on with the spread. You can see it in the top right corner of the screen. What's going on with the spread at the changeover of day. A lot of people come into Forex trading and they want to be position traders. They want to swing trade and hold trades for multiple days, but they don't I don't want to say they don't know. They aren't aware of the fact when they're new that spreads can really open up at this changeover of day period across a lot of different pairs. And when the spreads open up, it can easily trigger tight stops and take you out of the trade. And that's what you want to avoid. So if you're going to be holding trades overnight, it's very important that you take into account the possibility that your spread opens up. Here on GBPJPY, you can see the spreads down to 8.4 now, but it was just at 15. And you'll see that happen from 5 o'clock when the broker closes until about 5.30, 6 o'clock when things pick back up in the Asian market. It's that changeover of day, and for whatever reason, U.S. regulated brokers always have this. You can see it's back up to 9 now. This same thing happened to me when I was working on Wall Street with the firm that I was with. They had the same issue. So I think it's a U.S. regulation thing, but it's something that we need to be aware of because we are trading with U.S. regulated brokers. If you look at any other pair, like let's take a look at Euro USD, you can see the spread here even up to 4.5. Typically, the spread here is under one or two pips at most. Even when news comes in, this doesn't go to 4.5. Here, I'll show you GBP NTD. You can see right now, 19.7, almost 20 pips. I've seen this thing go over 20 pips sometimes. So if you're going to be swing trading, take this into account. Do not ignore the fact that your spread can open up and hit a tight stop. It's happened to me before, and I didn't understand it at first. Now, five years later, of course, I have a better understanding, so I don't get sucked into it. Even in the GBPJPY trade now, the only reason that I'm comfortable to hold this trade in is because, as you can see, the stop is locked in profit, so I can't lose any money on the trade. Most of it's closed, and even if the spread opens up, you can see I'm over 100 pips in profit, 108 pips in profit right now. So there's no way that a 20 or 15 pip spread would hit me out. So that's why I was confident to hold this trade into the changeover of day. Now, some of the brokers will charge you to hold it into the next day. That's fine. That's just a cost of doing business. You can't really avoid that if your broker charges you that. But most brokers that I've seen, most brokers that the traders in our group out of the 200 people in our VIP plus now, most of them have this issue where spreads do open up. So you're probably wondering why this happens. You're going to have to just chalk it up to an broker issue, poor liquidity, changeover, changeover of day, whatever you want to call it, we know that every day from 5 to 5.30, even to 6 o'clock, the spreads open up. So it's important to keep that in mind as you're going through and trying to hold your trades over a night. Typically, I'm not holding trades like this. You know, if you've been following me for a while, I don't like to hold my trades overnight. I like to be in and out. But this trade worked so well for me today, and I am bullish on the higher time frames. So I think this has potential to rise, and that's why I decided to hold it it moved far enough into profit where I could lock the stop and be confident in it. But past that, swing trading can still make you a ton of money. You can still catch massive moves. This move on GBP JPY, if I'm right, could still put another 200 on another 150 pips in my pocket if I'm right with my full idea. So we'll see how this one plays out, but I want you guys to take out of this video that if you're swing trading, pay attention to your spreads. Don't get caught with a tight stop loss going into the changeover of day. Either move the stop loss or close the trade. In my opinion, close the trade. If you're too tight, just get out, come back tomorrow, find another trade. Liquidity probably dried up at the end of the day, so it makes more sense to just move on. So close it, take the profit, take the small loss. Don't wait for spreads to jump and possibly jump over your stop loss. I've seen that happen to some people. Not me, but I've seen that happen to some of the guys in our group. And you don't want that to happen to you, especially after seeing this video. So I hope this helps. I hope this provides you with some new insights, some new information on how to handle your changeover of day spreads. And if you have any other questions, please drop a comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer it. As always, I really, really do appreciate your time. Do me a favor, if you're still here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. It really helps me reach new traders in the community. And also make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next trading video.